Hey everyone, I'm Trevor and today we're at Disney California Adventure to take you on a full merchandise tour of every store in the park. So let's get going. And we are coming in a different way. We're coming in the Pixar Place dedicated entrance and we're gonna begin the merch tour right here. And uh, there's the Golden Zephyr, by the way, right there. If you wanna see the Pixar Place Hotel video, it is up on our channel already, so be sure to check it out. This is some sort of little market. I don't even know what this place is called, but uh, you can see what they have. A couple of hats. We've got some Encanto merchandise up here. We have a We Don't Talk About Bruno t-shirt, a couple of Mirabelle and sister dolls. What are these? I have never seen this before. What is this, honey? You're gonna have to help me out here. Are these clip-ons for your hair? Yeah, they're like... I think so. Yeah, they're barrettes. <laughs> like they're little... You know. I don't think I've ever seen that before. They also have, uh, is that Aristocats? Yeah. Amy and the kids are briefly in the video. They're gonna go ride some rides while we continue our tour. The new Disney Parks Icons uh, merchandise line is here. We took a closer look at all of this stuff over at our Disneyland merch guide, but we'll point out some things that we didn't see over there. For instance, these socks, Disney Park Icon socks. Ooh, and what's this? Is this like a pin you get? A special pin or something? And of course, they don't have a cost on here. And what is this? Is this like a fanny pack? It's just like a giant fanny pack. It's pretty huge. This is $39.99. I don't remember seeing this spirit jersey the other day either. So this Disney Parks Icons, they, they do have different stuff at different stores. Remember, I always say that. Check all the stores because every one of them has a little bit of something different. Surprise, surprise, I can't find the cost of that item either. But suffice to say, spirit jersey is usually pretty expensive. This place is called Seaside Souvenirs, by the way. Had to go out and look at the sign. They do have uh, mini ears straight ahead, some hats, and the 2024 line of merchandise straight ahead. Let's go poke at that. And just a quick glance at this 2024 dated merchandise. Here's a few items that we did not see over at Disneyland. We have a soap pump and uh, no price, of course. We have this almost like a Disney Parks icon, but also 2024 picture frame. That is $29.99. Ooh, a cross body bag. I don't remember seeing this over at Disneyland either. $39.99. And again, that's for this cross body bag. We also have some silly fun straws for the kids and a kid's cup. This is actually made out of glass, even though it looks like it might be for kids. Maybe it's not because I wouldn't ever give a glass cup to a kid. It looks like it should be plastic, but it's definitely glass. $19.99. Aw, this 2024 onesie, $26.99. And a 2024, is this like a, I was going to say like a Hawaiian type shirt, but no, that's like fireworks. 2024 Mickey plush. $29.99. From here, we're gonna head along Paradise Gardens Park back up towards the Little Mermaid to find our next door. We're gonna loop our way around the park from this location, ending back at Seaside Souvenirs at the end of the tour. You say, Trevor, why are you doing this video at night? Well, for one of two reasons. First off, we have a hotel tonight, which means we can be in here in the dark. And two, because one of you said, hey, I'd love to see more of Disney in the dark. Well, usually because we go home and we're not here in the dark. But since we are, I thought we'd do this tour at night. Now there is a little shop over here off to our left and this is a festival store. The festival stores are only available whenever a festival is going on. And there are three festivals throughout the year. So the merchandise in here is gonna change, but right now it's Lunar New Year. And so we have some Lunar New Year themed merchandise. Year of the Dragon Spirit Jersey, I like it. From the Little Mermaid, we're gonna spin to the right and that storefront straight ahead is where we're going. And this is called Embarcadero Gifts. Now we're not gonna actually go in here, we're just gonna poke our head in the doorway. So this is a Pandora store, mostly caters to jewelry, but they do have a few apparel items there on the wall. Of course, all over the place, you can find uh, these little pop-up carts like this aerial bubble wand, but they have Mickey bubble wands and Buzz Lightyear bubble wands. And oh look, the 2024 ears that light up. We saw these over at Disneyland when we did that tour. And we saw the battery pack, but we did not see it in action. And here's what it looks like. Now we are headed into Grizzly Peak. And the next store is actually gonna be right next to Grizzly River Run. So we'll catch up with you when we get around there. And that store is gonna be called Russian River Outfitters. So let's go check it out. And the first display we're greeted with is actually a Winnie the Pooh display. And I didn't see any of this stuff in the Winnie the Pooh store at Disneyland. This is actually a really nice looking line of merchandise. Very classic, classy rather. It's not like overly in your face. 
but just a nice, simple touch. Well, okay, that's kind of in your face. <laughs> the uh, Winnie the Pooh in your pocket shirt is $54.99. And then we have a Winnie the Pooh with Piglet. And, oh look, there's a Tigger in your face. And then that shirt, um, the button up, $69.99. Oh, they still have this line of merchandise. Pooh Corner used to have this and then they got rid of it. It's kind of like the Disney pets. And that lounge fly is $78. Russian River is a pretty large store as are most of the stores here at Disney California Adventure. And just like Disneyland, we can't look at every single item, but we will highlight key items as we go through or things that I've never seen before. Hey, look, it's Flash. Flash, Flash, 100 yard dash. Buddy, it's nice to see you. Upper Creek Canoe Rentals with paddles $29.95 without paddles $2.95. I love it. On this little booth here, there is the Disney Parks uh, Sun Hat. It is $29.99. They also have a Mickey Mouse fuzzy cap with some ears here and his mittens, although these look pretty small. Go figure, I can't find a price. Uh, something that's unique to this store is they do sell a lot of flip-flops. In fact, they have a lot of merchandise that you might think that you need for Grizzly Ever Run, such as towels, flip-flops. Um, we've got actually cooling towels for when it's hot and then fans for cooling you down. But again, more flip-flops. In addition, they also just have some Mickey and Disneyland generic merchandise. On top of that is more Disney Park Icons line of merchandise, and then they've got the 2024 line over there too. Our next store is another short jaunt away across from Soren around the world. So I'll catch up with you when we get there. And Soren is over here off to our left, but the store, we wanna to spin to the right. And even though there's a whole bunch of construction walls up, this is still open. It's called Humphreys Service and Supplies. And the front display here is a bunch of Smokey the Bear merchandise. So this is the only store you're gonna find Smokey the Bear merchandise and it is in the Grizzly Peak Recreation Area, which is national park themed, so it's very appropriate to have Smokey merch. California poppies. I don't see a price. Why do I never find prices for stuff? They also have a Coast Redwood Sequoia. Uh, you can plant your own little tree, I guess. Check this out. They have this nice, authentic, and original Mickey Mouse hat. And that's going to be $29.99. Ooh, check this out. I've seen this in a couple of different places, but they've got Disney Parks Yahtzee. And some of them are Disneyland themed and others are Disney World themed. That one's definitely Epcot, so this is probably Disney World themed. Yeah, I think that's Magic Kingdom. And uh, um, I guess that's supposed to be Hollywood Studios. Oh, uh, Fantasmic. And then, then Animal Kingdom. So this is Walt Disney World themed, but it, it's still really cool. And the price on this is $44.99. We've got some more Smokey the Bear. Got a sweatshirt, zip up hoodie. I don't know what this is. This is a game. It's a game of some kind. Oh, look. Yep, definitely a game. To go along with the gaming theme, we have some puzzles right over here. There's the more Yahtzee down there. We've got uh, Disney Villains Clue over here and the Game of Life Disney Park style, as well as Monopoly. And then there's a Rubik's Character Cube. I have no idea what this is. $10, so look, it's, it's, not, it's $10 even. There's no 99 or anything. Oh look, more Disney Parks Icon merchandise. Here's some unique stuff. Look at this. We got a turkey leg shirt, make your own magic shirt, um, Pizza Planet, Main Street USA. What do we got here? Disneyland Resort, and just more Pizza Planet shirts. What's this yellow thing? Uh, what up, dog? Anaheim, California. We got Mickey with a surfboard. Got some Stitch. Oh look, Joey Chu merchandise. So we've got some of that still here at Disney California Adventure. They used to have a whole bunch of this stuff. Now it's really kind of hard to find. It's a really nice art style. I actually like it. And this is um, a lounge fly, of course, probably 78. Uh, actually, no, it's 88. I can see the tag on another product. And then there's this like little sundress type thing in that style as well. And I don't know what this is. It looks like a sleeping bag, but I doubt it is doesn't actually have a tag and without going and looking what it is it might be a sleeping bag actually I have no idea and then here's a little sun hat 34.99 
We left that store and are headed back to Disney California Adventures Hub. And there's Carthay. We're gonna spin, like I said, to the left. And we're gonna head down this road. This is Buena Vista Street. Now there are shops on either side, the left hand and the right hand side of the road. So we're gonna begin on the left hand side. When we reach the end, we have to turn around and then we'll come up the right hand side shops. Now, just like Disneyland, these are all interconnected. So we're gonna go in one way and we're just gonna hit store after store after store. This first one is called Trolley Treats, which is like the candy shop here at DCA. And they do have a display of mugs and cups right up here at the front, as well as this little jar. This is really heavy. This is a candle. It must be a candle because the thing is heavy. $29.99. But the bulk of what you're going to find in here is food, snacks, and pre-packaged bags that you can buy, or those delicious baked goods behind the counter. That building spills into this one, and let's see what we have here. This is $54.99. That's really heavy, by the way. Like, it feels really well made. So that justifies the price, I guess. Uh, this nice Mickey Mouse pillow, $39.99. And a Mickey Mouse clock, $54.99. A lot of what you're gonna find in here is Disney home goods. And here is a quick pan of what some of the items they have in store. Except for I absolutely had to show you this little tea set here. This way to Wonderland. And it's always tea time. I think this is awesome. Curiouser and curiouser, it says at the top. I don't want to pick it up though. Um, it's, it's really heavy. So that's where I'm going to find the price probably. Unless it's right here. It is. Thankfully, I didn't have to pick it up. $34.99. That's actually a really good price for this thing. This thing is heavy, well made, and it's really cute. They also have this little uh, teacup up top it's not alice in wonderland themed but you can see it's $24.99 for this mini mouse cup this is also really cute but they have more it's always tea time merchandise to go along with that set and just a few items to show you over on this wall we have the disney eras collection as well as some haunted mansion merchandise and over on this wall every single thing is pet related so uh, collars, looks like some pull ropes, uh, tug of war type ropes for, for your pets. If you have pets, you'll wanna check this out. This is um, next to Trolley Treats. The next door over has Christmas items. We have a lot of Christmas ornaments in here. Uh, both Disneyland and Disney California Adventure have Christmas shops open all year round so you can buy your Christmas ornaments. If you are like us, you like to collect an ornament every year from the places that you go. And so, you know, Disney understands that and we'll have Christmas available all the time. There's also a lot of mugs in here. Come in here and check them all out. There's way too many to look at. And just to show you what we're kind of looking at, again, there's just these open doors here and we're just gonna spill right into the next store. And this is one more store over. Uh, they're, they're pretty small stores, these ones, but the, the whole building is pretty huge. We have a reverse table runner, reverse a bowl. See what's on the other side. Uh, black, that's not very reversible. I mean, I guess if you want just black, that's fine. We have more Encanto style, similar style in, in plates, serving tray. And this is not the same art style, but it's still Encanto themed, this mug here, and also this bowl. Ooh, I like this plate. We don't talk about Bruno. Quite a few pins in here, both limited 2024 pins, as well as standard ones that you're gonna find in any store. Oh, check this out. So one thing Disney California Adventure is really good for is a lot of artistic decor type pieces. And so you're gonna see a lot of this stuff as we go along, and Kanto Casita, light up figuring $80. But then check this out, we have a nice Marvel mural and some small statuettes. They're bookends, actually. and. We have a decorative clock Cogsworth and a candelabra Lumiere. And we have Dr. Facilier down here for 160. Tucked in the corner of this store, they have a whole wall of Wish. And looks like more Joey Chu merch over there on the left. And the final store in this string of stores is called Kingswell Shop and it has hats. You can take a look at the hats that they have over there on the wall. And you can get your hats embroidered over here. They also have some pretty classic Mickey ears, the old style, but not the headband style. Now we exit this store and we are actually gonna be at the front of the park. Uh, there's the red trolley that picks you up at the front of the park and the gates are gonna be right on the other side of that. And our first store over on this side of the park or on this side of Buena Vista Street 
is straight ahead and it's called Oswald's. Now Oswald's is gonna be where you're gonna find Oswald merchandise and the first item is right up here. This is, I don't know what type of material this is. I'm not very good with material types, but here's a little Oswald plush for $27.99. Oswald the Lucky Rabbit. And then we have uh, some strollers. So you forgot your stroller at home, you need a stroller. It's actually cheaper to, to buy one of these than to rent Disney's. I don't see a price though. Down here, mm, nope. Oh, here's a set of ears that I haven't seen before. Simba and Nala. And Oswald's is a pretty small store, uh, but they do have more hats. Lots of hats to choose from. We've got some Wish hats, some standard Goofy and Pluto hats. Uh, also, a little bit of Wish over here too. Oh well, look, a Steamboat Willie hat. And the last thing really of note is this Conductor hat, $34.99. All right, sorry, I didn't see anything else Oswald in there. Right next door is the Five and Dime. We're gonna go in there, and this is gonna start the next string of stores that are all inter- connected. The display I see right away is the dated 2024 merch. Here it looks like we have a photo album, a little scrapbooking type photo album. These are four by sixes, two four by sixes, and then some notes that you can write there. Whole bunch of pages in here of that though. I have not seen that anywhere else. So that's, that's pretty new or pretty unique. $24.99. Looks like we also have a smaller photo album that's not quite as involved <laughs> with no price on it, of course. And this is a pretty big store, so come on in, poke around. And this actually stuck out to me. This is a backpack. Uh, I don't know, what is it? Star Wars? Looks like Star Wars. Okay, yep, definitely Star Wars. I didn't quite recognize that scene at first. Limited time, 50% off. Is this Disney 100? Yeah, oh yeah, it says Disney 100 Decades. So it's 88, or rather it's 44 because it's on sale right now. It probably won't be here when you come though unless you're coming in like the next week. Lots of lounge flies to take a look at and to choose from. Plus some magic bands over here. Let's see if there's any unique ones I haven't seen before. I feel like I haven't seen this one yet. Winnie the Pooh, honey. I definitely have not seen this. A first visit one? I didn't even know they had first visit magic bands. And here is the general price on magic bands. Now the Sage, the only one of those are the ones that don't have any printing on them up there. And then I feel like the bulk of the printed ones float in the slate to lilac range. I've actually never seen one of these. It's possible that's reserved for like these fancy ones behind the glass. Well, that's pretty random. There's a whole wall of Jack Skellington stuff. We're gonna leave the five and dime behind and head into Big Top Toys. You will probably be shocked to know that this store has toys. Lots of toys and more toys. Lots and lots and lots of toys. You know, ooh, ooh, this. <laughs> I used to have something like this when I went to Walt Disney World, uh, either for the very first time or the second time. Uh, I would have either have been six or nine. And I remember getting an RC car and it was like my favorite thing that I'd ever purchased at Disney. I took it on the Tower of Terror and it was between my feet and I didn't know that, you know, you're supposed to hold on to stuff because I was just a little kid. <laughs> and we start dropping and my like RC car starts floating in the air and I had to like quickly catch it. <laughs> it's, a, it's a memory I'll never forget. They even have some Wish figurines in here. And that's it for the toy store. Now we're gonna come over into this one. Here's this like Mickey and Co gardening type line of merchandise. We saw this at one of the fancy stores over at Disneyland and they've got a couple of those items over here as well. Uh, the sun hat and uh, I guess that's the sun hat as well. It's just reversed or like flipped up and uh, that like little purse. We also have this shirt with a bumblebee on it and Mickey and a flower. And we have more of it over here sweatshirt and I don't think that's part of the same merchandise line. This whole corner over here is Mickey Mouse. Everything is Mickey. But these Mickeys in particular are like a drawn style of Mickey. And so everything over here has that drawn style on him. Well, I saw some of this at um, Humphreys, the service station across from Soren, but there were a lot of people looking at it, so I didn't want to get too close to it. And this is $69.99 for this uh, sweatshirt here. Time to enter our next store. Again, there's even another one over there. Again, they just keep going. Uh, what's this right here? Birthstone necklaces. Ooh, and earrings. <laughs> got a, a Baby Yoda earrings, and we've got Stitch earrings, and Dumbo earrings. They're really kind of big though. 
like really big. What is this? It's a Mickey balloon. Is it like a, it's, I think it's a light. $29.99. Oh, it's the play in the park line. And uh, here's some bag clips. So that is a balloon light. And then we also have um, some dolls with some outfits that you can dress them up in. There's Mickey. And we also have a mini one. $39.99. Okay, a word. My son loves Rubik's Cubes and he bought one of these. Not this exact one, but let me tell you, if you thought that matching up the, the colors on the side was difficult, trying to get the picture to line up and the colors to be on the right side is near impossible. So uh, take my advice and, and don't buy one of these ever. Unless you're okay with it never going back together. Ooh, more play in the park. This is a spirit jersey. I really like that. I mean, as much as I don't like the teacups, Mickey and Minnie and the teacups, and this is me. This is me right here. Exactly. My kids, me. And here is a look at the front of that spirit jersey. Price is $69.99. Oh, look, we got a play in the park shot glass. My dad used to collect these. Um, he passed away eight years ago, but um, I'll never forget him always collecting shot glasses. That was one of the things that he collected. He passed his collection jeans on over to me. A lounge fly uh, clutch wallet. Price, $50. This is the play in the parks as well. Here's a few Valentine's items because Valentine's Day is uh, just under two weeks away. Just under two weeks away. So some of these items probably won't be here. Is this more? No, just those two shirts on the front. Disney Crocs. These are just plain. These aren't the uh, snack ones. If you wanna see the snack Crocs, Go check out my Disneyland video, or maybe we'll find it eventually in this one. I, I can't find a tag. It's not a tag with a price anyway. Just two more stores to go. In this string of stores, you can see the last one through that doorway. Oh, hey, here we go. The Ahsoka line of merchandise. I got the Star Wars hat, not the hat that I usually wear. Slight uh, variation on it. And then we have an Ahsoka shirt here of some kind. Um, I don't know women's clothing, so I have no idea what that's supposed to be. And then this looks like it in a Soka style scrunchie of some kind. Definitely a scrunchie, and it's $14.99. The Dark Lord of the Sith. Join me, and together we can rule the galaxy. $49.99. Sound off in the comments if you just love the voice of James Earl Jones, because I do. Got a lot of different Vader merchandise here that I've never seen before, actually, either. Here's another one right over here and just a simple dark tea with the um, life support system in it. We even got a Darth Vader hat here. Ooh, does that say Vader in it? Oh, it says Darth Vader. It's like very, very subtle. I don't know if you would really notice that walking around, but it's there. Amongst all this Vader stuff, there's one lone Boba Fett sweatshirt. He's no good to me dead. Grogu, we got a Grogu. Is this a spirit jersey? This is a spirit jersey. Ooh, it's a Star Wars spirit jersey. Doesn't say Disneyland on it, it says Star Wars. And a Grogu and Mando lounge fly. I've never seen this. Is this like a little purse? Oh, what's that say? Tap, tap, tap. <laughs> That's cute. I have seen this before, pizza smuggler. Even more Ahsoka merchandise. Ahsoka ears, we've got a sweatshirt, a uh, whole bunch of different type of stuff. I've, this is like all new. Even I haven't even seen this over at the Star Wars stores. I love you and I know spirit jerseys. I'm just finding a whole bunch of new stuff. Like why is this not in the Star Wars stores at Star Wars Galaxy's Edge? We looked through all of those stores and we did not see any of this stuff. Wow, look at this, a whole bunch of Stitch stuff too. We saw a whole Stitch display over in Adventureland and I don't recall, well, I remember seeing that backpack and that hat, but I, well, maybe that shirt, but definitely not any of this stuff. Here's another Stitch lounge fly. This is like him playing in the sand. And this thing comes out. I, I've only seen Lilo and Stitch like twice, so I'm sorry if this is from the movie and it's just been a really long, long time. And here we go, the final store. This one's a little bit finer and Case in point. If you are looking for a citizen watch, we've got a whole bunch of them in this store. Peach Punch. I guess that's this style, that's this color. And they got a whole bunch of Peach Punch apparel and cups. Okay, this one deserves to be highlighted Kermit the Frog because I haven't seen any Kermit merchandise anywhere else. They don't have Muppets here. Muppets is over in Walt Disney World. And we popped out of that store and we are close to Carthay again. And now we're gonna head down Sunset Boulevard, which is this road up here to our left. And here it is. 
looks a whole lot different at night than what I'm used to because I almost always come during the day. And I like it all lit up. Our first store is gonna be over here off to our left with the Hollywood sign. There is a lot of shopping at Disney California Adventure. After having a quick glance through, about the only stuff that's unique in here is this line of Minnie Mouse merchandise on this wall. Uh, they had the Play in the Parks, the Disney Park icons, uh, some other types of lines of merchandise we've already looked at. But this stuff over here, the, the Minnie Mouse stuff, is really the only things that I haven't seen anywhere else. Let's take a closer look at this Minnie Mouse lounge fly. It's all sequins. And uh, it's probably 78 or 88. That's what lounge flies tend to be in price. All right, well, that was it. Now we're going straight across the street. You see Off The Page. Now Off The Page is a really unique store and you're gonna find a lot of stuff in here that you won't find anywhere else in the parks, except for maybe out at the Wonderground Gallery and Downtown Disney. And as I say that, one of the first things that we see is the Disney Eras collection, which we've looked at multiple times in these videos. Speaking of Kermit though, look, it's Kermit the Frog. And the spiggy. And uh, that is $358 for these framed sketches. Anytime you see a print that is in one of these types of frames, it's usually cheaper because it's not an original. And just like last time, I wasn't able to find a price, but I've purchased some of these before and they're usually in the $40 range. Mind you, that was like five to 10 years ago. But here's some of the stuff that I really wanted to show you, like this Disneyland happiest place on earth sign. Uh, this surprisingly is only 150. Uh, it's not like individually cut or anything. This is smooth all the way across. So it's, it's, it's not as cool as it initially looks, but it is really nice looking all the same. And we've got an Oswald painting. It is $2.29. Like I say, is this like a skull from Alien or something? But no, it's the crystal skull from Indiana Jones. $250, it lights up. It's a light up figurine. And here's a Madame Leota figurine that is 110. This here is the Staff of Raw headpiece from Indiana Jones, and it is $75. Oh, Graveyard Mummy. This is from Haunted Mansion. And it says, musical figurine what in the world is this i mean there's a label i still don't know what it means then we start getting into the really pricey stuff these are 750 dollars each this one is new i haven't seen it yet the haunted mansion but it's 2300 dollars yeah but wow does that thing look good and it makes sense that they would have a Joey Chu merchandise in here because this is an art type store and Joey Chu is an artist and the line of merchandise is very artistic in nature. So they have some of his stuff in here too. Ooh, I really love this Encanto painting. The musical Madrigals is $3.99. But if that's too rich for your blood, they do have one of these prints, again, probably in the $40 to $50 range that is gonna be much more affordable. Disney loves to never put prices on their merchandise so that you get attached to it. And then when you get up to the register, you find out that it's way too expensive, but you've already gotten there, so you buy it anyway. We came out of that store and we came out at a little different entrance. We wanna zip over here into Hollywood Studios. They have an outdoor store. It's like a little pop-up store. I mean, it's not pop-up, it's always there, but I just call them pop-up because they're outdoor. And that's the studio store. A lot of hats and ears in here. And here we go, we're located close to Monsters, Inc. So we've got this giant Sully tail. I'm trying to see if there's a price. The giant Sully tail is $24.99. They also have some Mike and Sully cotton candy. And uh, even the food item doesn't have a price on it. We have Mike Wazowski pen. Ooh, Mike Wazowski. And uh, that's Sully. I was like, I didn't see the blue at first. I was like, what in the world is that? But yeah, it's blue, it's Sully. You wanna play basketball with Mike Wazowski's eye? Ow, 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 ow. Well, they have the Mickey Sorcerer hat here. Doesn't have a price, go figure. That's becoming a recurring theme of this video. You know, I didn't think I was gonna see my family again, but as we were passing by Mike and Sully the Rescue, I happened to see them standing here. If they get a buddy pass, I might ride with them. What did you do? Uh, we did Golden Zephyr, Jumping Jellyfish, The Swings, and Maters. That's a pretty successful evening so far. Yeah. Success. So I'm gonna take a brief break to ride this attraction 
which is basically single rider, by the way. If you haven't seen Buddy Pass before, uh, you come in through the exit and uh, we'll resume the tour in a minute. And this is all the amount of people that are waiting ahead of us. So to go pretty quick. And we're back, even though no time passed for you. I do want to let you know though that it just started raining. So we're gonna make the most of the rest of the store. And if it gets any harder, I may have to just end the video early and leave the rest of the stores as a mystery. But we have Avengers Campus, Cars Land, and Pixar Pier left to do. Obviously, we're going into Avengers Campus next. You say, why would rain impact your video? All the stores are indoors. Well, you are correct. And because of that, when it rains, people seek shelter, and they seek shelter in stores. And if it gets any more crowded than the stores already have been, I'm just gonna have a hard time walking around and filming anything. And the first store is a newer one, and it is right underneath the Quinjet here. It's called Avengers Vault. This is a pretty small store, but it has a lot of Avengers gear in it, and it's worth checking out. Of course, everyone wants to purchase a life-size Iron Man suit, right? Right? Because everyone also has $8,650 to spend. We've got a whole wall of Spidey gear over here. And if you do love Iron Man, but you don't want to buy the whole suit, you can buy his head or the helmet rather, but I don't see the price listed. It's still gonna be quite pricey. Here's the cheap version. And the cheap version is $34.99. Actually, this is the cheap version. This is like really, really thin plastic, but it comes with the whole suit for $59.99. So, I mean, that's probably better, but this is slightly better made material. Ooh, low key, low key. This is a really heavy goblet, $29.99, ceramic. Really well done. Captain America fanny pack. Now this fanny pack is more in line with the size that I would think of. $29.99. Ooh, the vibranium shield. Now this thing is in a huge box. $450. Is this Thor's hammer, but the like modified one? It's his ax. Stormbreaker. What is this, fancy web shooters? Uh, here's a look at that ax outside of the box. And they also had, they do have Thor's hammer too. Separate uh, item that you can purchase. So Thor's hammer is $139.99 and the Stormbreaker ax is $179.99. I don't know how I missed this earlier, but here's the vibranium shield on display, not in the box. We've got a couple of artifacts on display here, not necessarily for purchase, just things that are on display. The Eye of Agamotto, the Tesseract, Loki's scepter, not nano gauntlet. Now you can't buy the gauntlet, just not all lit up like that. Uh, this is the version that you can buy. This thing is still quite heavy, quite heavy. And how come I don't ever find prices on these things? Here we go, we have the Wakandan Infinity Gauntlet and it comes with the stones, $99.99. Scarlet Witch Lounge Fly, it's pretty nice. A Web Labs keychain. I actually really like this. This is really well made. <gasps> the arc reactor. I've always wanted one of these. How much is this going to set me back? Only $99.99. All right, that was enough of that store. We have one more in Avengers Campus, and it is... Well, actually, there's a pop-up straight ahead. We'll poke at that, too. But then there's the uh, Spider Web Slinger store. Let's see what we have here. Looks like just uh, Avengers Campus, Avengers... Hats, shirts, water bottles, mugs. Web suppliers, that's it. You guys can tell how much I shop. I don't know what the names of these places are called. And one of the main things they're gonna sell in here are spider bots, lots of different types of spider bots. And a lot of unique web shooters that you can use for the Spider-Man Web Slingers ride. This actually increases your score on the ride if you buy one of these web tech devices. And they do have some Spider-Man apparel in here too. And I always love the, the like web merch. I think it's really well done. Team Web Worldwide Engineering Brigade. Let's see what's on the back. Web. They also sell a backpack in here, which these like pop off. And then you can put your spider bot that you buy in the backpack here. And they've got a couple of different spider bots down here. Ah, here it is on display. You can see the spider bot in that web there. The spider bots are like little RC cars, by the way. They're remote controlled and you can, you know, walk them around places. We're now gonna head out of Avengers Campus, loop to the left and go in Cars Land. There's a little bit of Pixar Pier poking out, but before we get over there, we need to go down to Cars Land, Radiator Springs. All right. Isn't this just beautiful, especially at night? Oh, I love it. Thank you for the request. Can't remember who you were, but thank you for requesting a night video. 
And here we go, Sarge's Surplus, our first store on the right. As you can guess, there is Cars merch in all the Cars Land stores. We saw this over at the Pixar Place Hotel gift shop. Kind of a, a retro look to it, button-up shirt, $69.99. But the thing that I was really eyeing up was this kind of retro look, and it's a zip-up jacket. Really nice. $64.99. Except for I almost always wear this because it's branded. Ooh, just check this stuff out. They've got all sorts of new clothes in here that I haven't seen yet. Here's a shirt, a little dress. The dress is $49.99. And hat is $24.99. Dino Park, this is cool. We've got some Dino Park shorts. And are these like, this is a small Dino Park shirt. I almost thought that was like PJs at first, but no, that would have been nice. Apparel is not all they have though. There are a lot of Lightning McQueen toys. There's also other like Hot Wheels style vehicles in here as well. Bader RC car? It's like there's one driving around here. There it is. No, he's just driving. He's driving by himself. But I love coming in here to look at the little mini model of Radiator Springs. Of course, who needs a model when you have virtually the real thing right outside the door? Next, just before we get to Luigi's Casa Della Tires, is the Radiator Springs Curios. And this is a nice little store that again, mostly has apparel, but it also has like a lot of Route 66 stuff, not just Cars Land specific. So that's nice too. A little bit of variety. Not every store has the same things. Again, each store kind of has its own unique stuff. More toys and it looks like some Dino Land or whatever that land was called, I've already forgotten. Ooh, look at these. These like are like die cast. At least I think they're die cast. They look really nice. They're $19.99. There are also a lot of pins in here. A lot of them actually. Wreck-It Ralph, Big Hero 6, even Miss Piggy. Maybe, um... Isn't that a beautiful sight when we step out of the curios? Ah, oh, flows. Instead, we're gonna go over here to Ramon's House of Body Art. That's a gift shop. Where we're gonna find even more apparel. Look, Play in the Park merchandise. Oh, I don't feel like we've seen this one yet. This is, that's clear. Oh, and that's like a, a clipped on. The balloon there is clipped on on the inside. So you can clip on whatever you want to, really, I guess. I haven't seen this yet. $34.99 for that little backpack? Yeah, it's a backpack, all right. If you saw that little kid dress earlier and you were like, oh, I wish they made that an adult size, they do. $79.99 though. Here it is, adult size dress. The sheriff's in town. I'm not sure if we looked at this yet, but classic Cars Land hoodie. And we have a classic Cars Land lounge fly as well. Mostly a lot of repeat stuff in Ramones, except for those few items that we highlighted for you. So we just left that and we've got one more place to go. Actually two, I guess. We gotta stop in San Francisco Square quick, but then we're going to Pixar Pier. This park is so beautiful at night. San Francisco Square is mostly a food location, but when they did the renovation, they did add in San Francisco Maker's Market, which is this tiny little corner store over here. Now it's got a whole bunch of Big Hero 6 merchandise in it. It does look very crowded, so I'm not sure how much we're gonna get to look at. We will get to take a look at these Baymax ears though. That's neat, can't see a price. And is this a Baymax lounge fly? It's a very poofy lounge fly. This is like squishy, me oh, woo, it popped off. It's a button. How about that? Of course, this one is on the pricier end at 88, but I'm actually surprised it's not higher with how much like extra stuff they've got hanging on the outside of this thing. That was the only display I was able to get up real close to. They had some shirts and some toys, plushes, a few other things in that store. If you love Baymax, if you love Big Hero 6, go check it out here in San Francisco Square. This wouldn't be a night video without looking at Mickey's death wheel here at night. Can't do, get too close though, because there's a lot of people all lined up for World of Color. We are gonna watch World of Color, but we're gonna watch it from our hotel room. Let's so check out our Pixar Place hotel video. You can see the hotel right across the lake there. I have about a half an hour to finish this video and make it back to my room. If I miss this one, I'll catch the 1015 showing of World of Color from my room. There are three notable shops in Pixar Pier, and the first one is Knickknacks. And here is the start of the pier. And Knickknacks is right here, so here we go. It should be no surprise that this store is gonna have mostly Pixar merchandise. We've got a Finding Nemo spirit jersey here, and of course, no price. 
but that's really nice. Give me some fin. $29.99. And righteous, righteous, righteous. $19.99. Chef Remy's Ratatouille recipe. Want a recipe on the back of your shirt? Here you go. Ooh, we have a Remy plush. This one kind of looks a little bug-eyed. And uh, then we've got Remy ears. Ooh, Remy's Ratatouille adventure. Ooh, this is from Epcot. And we've got a Remy cup here, $24.99. Embarrass the city of cheese. We do have some Up merchandise. And a lot of Toy Story stuff that I feel like we have already looked at. So we pop out of that store. We've got adorable snowman frosted treats to our left. You can hear the Incredicoaster probably blasting off. And our next store is next to Toy Story Midway Mania. This is the gift shop that you enter when you exit the ride. And, and I'm pretty sure all we're going to find in here is Toy Story merchandise that we have seen a dozen times in other places. Except for maybe this. What in the world is this? It's a, a forky something. Is there something in here? Uh, paper? Okay, I don't know what this is. Is it like a bag? A fuzzy bag? Look at the backpack, $24.99. Pretty sure it's just a fuzzy backpack. And the bucket of soldiers. If you want your own toy soldiers, there are 75 army men in this bucket of soldiers, and it is $19.99, so that's pretty neat. And we've got some alien plushes, along with Pizza Planet shirts, and oh look, alien socks, and uh, oh, a Buzz Lightyear backpack. And I'm pretty sure this is the last store on our tour. Bing Bong's Sweet Stuff at the very end of Pixar Pier before you enter Paradise Gardens Park. Now in here, they do have a lot of food, but it's also a merchandise store. And uh, first up, I see a Sully Spirit Jersey. And it looks like a Sully Lounge Fly? Sequined one. So that's pretty neat. It's got uh, mini ears on it too, but definitely very Sully. Again, we're at Pixar Pier, so most of the things are gonna be Pixar themed. I was wondering if we were gonna see this over at DCA, the snack line of merchandise. We looked pretty closely at this over at the Disneyland video, which I'm gonna link to at the end of this one. If you haven't seen that one yet, you've gotta check out the Disneyland merch video. And uh, this is the snack line of merchandise. Here's the spirit jersey version. That's Bing Bong singing. <laughs> that happens occasionally. We have Wish merchandise. Uh, that is, is that a spirit? That's a spirit jersey over here too. They're, they're breaking out with their spirit jerseys and doing different things. Like it's still spirit jersey material with the spirit, like the bumpy spirit jersey stuff, but it looks a little different now. I'm surprised we didn't see this in Knickknack shop. Maybe we didn't look close enough, but they have a Knickknack uh, yellow shirt here. I feel like Amy just pointed this out over at our hotel, no price. Ooh, and we haven't seen this yet. <laughs> Sheriff Woody lounge fly. It's even got a really shiny star here. And right above him is a Bo Peep lounge fly. There's a Stitch again, and we also have quite a few plushes over here. Just walk along and let you look. Ooh, I see a boo. I love a boo. What is this? It's like a Sully head, but it's like a pillow, a Sully head pillow. And a Mike Wazowski looking munchling. I mean, I don't know if that is Mike, but it kind of looks like him. And there you go, that's it. Every single store at Disney California Adventure. We took you on a nice nighttime tour. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like and subscribe button. Then click this video to keep watching to check out my Disneyland merch guide. And thanks for watching. We will see you again next time.